Hello and welcome to this Amcrest tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to set up your NVR for use with your IP camera using a hardwired or wireless connection. We will also show you how to optimize recording and playback using the NVR's user interface by adjusting compression and bitrate. Before we begin, you'll need to make sure both your NVR and camera are powered on. Next, connect your NVR to your monitor with an HDMI or VGA cable. Once everything is connected, the device initialization screen will display. Select your region, language, and video standard. Set your time zone and time. Then create a password for the NVR that is between 8 and 32 characters and includes at least two types from numbers, letters, or general characters. You could also draw an unlock pattern if desired, or you can skip this step. Enter an email address to be used to reset the password. Select your security questions and answers. Then click Save. Click Next through the rest of the prompts to finish setting up your NVR. Most Amcrest cameras are defaulted to H.264 compression for maximum compatibility. However, H.265 provides a more advanced compression technology that allows the device to reduce file sizes, which in turn helps to reduce required bandwidth without sacrificing frames per second, resolution, or video quality. To add a camera to your NVR, you'll need to connect it with an Ethernet cable and add it using the user interface. Let's see how to do this using a hardwired Ethernet connection setup. There are two ways you can hardwire your camera to your NVR either through the built-in PoE ports, or through a network. On the NVR, there is one main data port which is used to connect the NVR to your network. The PoE models have the letter E at the end of the model number, and they come equipped with built-in Ethernet ports on the back of the NVR. These can directly connect your NVR to your IP cameras with Ethernet cables. Non-PoE models can use the main data port to connect to your network, and add 8, 16, or 32 cameras. Please note, most consumer modems, routers, and gateways do not have powered Ethernet ports. A PoE switch is recommended. Each NVR may have different configurations. Please refer to your NVR's technical specifications for the amount of cameras that can be added. To proceed, Ensure your camera is connected directly to the NVR or to the network. Once connected, you'll see one or more of the channels on your monitor populate with the camera's feed. The NVR may immediately attempt to log into your camera using the default admin password, which may prompt an invalid password message in the channel. To resolve this, right-click and select Main Menu. Next, click on Camera. Here you will see the channel's status appear red. You can input your camera's password by clicking the pencil icon under Edit. Please enter the camera's password, which was created during your initial camera setup. If the camera hasn't been set up, the default password is Admin. Click Connect. Then click Save. After a few moments, the red circle will turn green. Right-click in the gray area away from the window, and right-click again to go back to the Live View screen. Your camera's live view feed will appear in the channel. Now let's see how to connect a camera using the network connection setup. Please note, cameras not connected directly to the NVR will need to go through their initial camera setup process. Please refer to your camera's user manual or quick start guide to initially set up your camera. Once you've initially set up your cameras, go to your NVR's main menu and click on camera. Then select Device Search to locate your cameras on the network. The cameras should display above. Go ahead and select a device from the list by clicking the checkbox next to it. Click on Add to add it to your NVR. It should display in the Added Devices tab down below once it has been added. Your camera's status may appear red because the NVR will immediately attempt to log into your camera with the default admin password after it has been added. You will need to input the camera's password by clicking the pencil icon under Edit for your camera. Enter in the camera's password for your camera, created during initial camera setup, and click Connect. Then click Save. The camera will connect to the NVR and the status light will turn green. 
If it doesn't connect right away or shows an account locked message, please perform a power cycle by removing the power source and reconnecting. Your camera's live view feed will appear in the channel. As previously stated, our H.265 compatible products will come factory defaulted to H.264 compression. But for increased performance, the camera's settings can be automatically switched to H.265 compression. Switching to H.265 compression reduces bandwidth without sacrificing frames per second or resolution. To activate H.265 compression during camera registration, click on the H.265 auto switch. We will go into more detail on this in a moment. Once complete, the camera's live view feed should come online. You will have complete functionality as you would with the wired setup. Now that your NVR is set up, let's optimize your video settings. After you've added your cameras to your NVR, we recommend updating the camera's compression settings to H.265 encoding for optimal performance. H.265 compression uses roughly 30% less resources than H.264 and allows the device to reduce file sizes and bandwidth without sacrificing frames per second, resolution, or video quality. If the auto switch for H.265 compression was not selected in the camera registration process, the setting can be adjusted manually. From the Live View screen, right-click and select Main Menu. Then click on Camera and access the ENCODE menu. Choose a selected device from the channel list. In the compression menu, change H.264 to H.265. Please note, for higher performance when using H.265 compression, it is recommended to adjust bitrate. Adjusting the bitrate helps the system to create a balance between bandwidth and image quality. For optimal performance for 4K cameras, we recommend changing the bitrate from the default value to a pre-selected value of 1792 kilobits per second. For 5 megapixel cameras, we recommend using 1536 kilobits per second. For optimal bitrate settings for your specific camera resolution, please refer to the bitrate chart. This provides a perfect balance of video quality and file size for the best performance and efficiency. These settings are going to be the most optimal to provide you the best recording and playback experience. Different values may be applicable depending on your specific network environment. Note, a customized bitrate may also be applicable in most cases. This may be a trial and error process, since most network environments are unique and vary. However, the reference bitrate can range between 1792 to 2048 kilobits per second. A recommended customized bitrate should be around 1825 kilobits per second. Click Apply to save the adjusted bitrate settings. Please make sure to do this for every camera channel, and click Apply for each channel. Now that we've connected your cameras to your NVR and adjusted the compression and bitrate, let's go ahead and set up recordings to your NVR. For this part of the setup process, you'll need to install a hard drive into your NVR, which is not included with the device. For more details on the NVR hard drive installation and a list of compatible hard drives, please refer to your NVR's user manual or knowledge base. Back in the user interface, use the mouse to right-click and select Main Menu. Choose the storage icon in the menu. Click on the Schedule tab on the left. Select the channel you want to apply the schedule to. You can select regular or motion detection recordings, which are color-coded green and yellow respectively. The NVR comes set up by default for 24-7 regular and motion detection recordings. These are the two most commonly used recording types. The other two recording options, Alarm and MD and Alarm, are exclusively used for connecting your home or work alarm system to the NVR and are not used as often. To schedule a recording, you can select your recording type at the top and specify the desired times below on this 7 day 24 hour grid by clicking to highlight blocks of time. You can select one single block or multiple blocks of time up to 24 hours for each day of the week. To the left of each day, there are small boxes which can be marked to link days together. This is useful if you want to save time by instantly making changes to multiple days simultaneously. 
Click the eraser icon to the right of any date if you would like to clear the entire row of blocks. To start over, click on Default. All fields will be restored. The gear icon lets you manually enter up to six time periods in the schedule. Specify regular or motion detection, and copy the time periods to all days of the week or individual days. When you're finished scheduling your recording times, be sure to click Save and Apply to save your changes. Now that you've finished configuring the recording schedules, you may need to copy these settings over to other channels or cameras. By default, D1, Channel 1, will be selected unless you immediately selected all in the channel window previously. Please note, you can copy these settings directly over to another channel by clicking Copy. In the Copy window, you can select individual channels for any cameras you have added to the NVR. Or you can select All. Click Save when finished. When finished on this screen, click Apply to save your changes. Now let's take a look how to playback your recorded videos. Click to go back to the main menu, then click on Playback. On the right side of the screen are your channels. Above is a calendar where you can select the specific day, month, or year. Additionally, the days that have recordings have dots underneath. On the bottom left are the playback control buttons, where you can play, stop, play backward, go to previous frame, next frame, slow play, fast forward, go to previous day, next day, and volume. At the bottom of the playback screen, there is a timeline with your recordings displayed in colored regions, green for regular and yellow for motion detection. On the bottom right, there is a file list button. Under cam name are all cameras listed below. You can select the camera for which you want to see recordings. In this example, we'll select two cameras. Please refer to your NVR's technical specifications to determine the recommended number of playback channels. We recommend selecting one camera for optimum playback performance. The number of playback channels is dependent on your NVR's decode ability, and multi-camera playback may be limited. Once the camera is selected, you will see the recordings display in the timeline below. Press the play button to start playing the recordings. Jump ahead by clicking directly on the region in the timeline. The default display for the timeline is 24 hours, but the buttons on the lower right let you choose 2 hour, 1 hour, or 30 minute segments. Not shown in this example, but this actually zooms in on the timeline. Press the stop button to stop playback. You can select other channels to see video recordings for other cameras. Press the play button to start playing the recordings. You will see the recordings display in the timeline below. Jump ahead by clicking directly on the region in the timeline. Press the File List button to see the recordings that were shown on the timeline displayed in a list format with their times and type of recording, R for regular and M for motion detection. We will select one of the recordings here for playback by simply double-clicking on it. You can double-click other recordings to play them. To go back to the main view screen, simply right-click anywhere on the screen. Now you're able to set up your camera on your NVR via hardwire or network. Optimize performance by adjusting compression and bit rates, as well as schedule recordings and playback your videos. We hope you've enjoyed this NVR tutorial. Thanks for watching.